Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the uh, 14th. Yeah, right? Right around the 14th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, what do we have for a message today? Three of Wands and the Queen of Swords. No. Hmm. There is some sort of truth that is coming out. Somebody has probably missed an opportunity, procrastinating. They didn't see. Somebody didn't see something. They didn't see somebody's authenticity. They didn't see somebody's um, truth by the looks of things. Queen of Swords is very intelligent, very sharp, very um, mindful. Somebody may have gained a new perspective. They've wasted some time focusing on something that they shouldn't have. Now they probably have a new perspective. Ooh, Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands is at a crossroads trying to decide. Somebody's been trying to decide what they should do. But this is clarity. So somebody has received some clarity about a decision that they have been pondering. Somebody's been thinking a lot whether they should go, whether they should stay. But I feel like now they've received some sort of clarity. They know what they should do. It, it, it appears. It appears that they know what they should do. Um, the Queen of Swords is very, um, well, thinks a lot. This is a thinker, somebody that thinks fast as well. Two of Wands is a decision. Undecided. Somebody has been undecided. Now they have to choose. They're at that point where they are making a choice. And they got this, this somebody may be taking a new approach, being honest and upfront. It's like they missed an opportunity. They may have missed the boat. They didn't see it. Now they see something. They see it very clearly. May have to do with a partnership. Somebody may have thought the grass was greener on the other side. You know? And now they want to go back. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Four of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Cups. Six of Wands. Nine of Wands reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. Page of Wands reversed. So, yeah, I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, having a hard time facing some challenges. You know, they're, they may be scared. Okay, there could be some hard feelings. Somebody is dealing with a very authentic, truthful individual, and they uh, are having some hard feelings against this person. They did not invest, they did not take care of this person, or they didn't take care of themselves. The Seven of Pentacles reverse is a lack of investment. This is unrealistic, dissatisfied, there's no growth. I do feel like we have somebody here that got themselves into a relationship. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. There's no growth. Now they may be wanting to open up, or they are opening up. I mean, the Four of Pentacles is letting go of something. We have somebody here that was very, very stubborn extremely stubborn, um, probably uh, may have done something impulsively. There's impulsive behavior here. Maybe they, they were angry. They were angry. Um, I think that we, we have somebody here that is ready to be done fighting. You know, they've, they, they've, uh, maybe they played some games or they ain't wanted to compete, but they don't want to compete anymore. 
They don't want to compete. They were insecure. Now that now they're, they they just want to be happy. You know, there's an opportunity for abundance. There's an opportunity for happiness, emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. That's um that's emotional abundance. Okay, the Ten of Cups with somebody that is very intelligent, truthful, smart, authentic. This person can be brash, can be hard to deal with because they only, you know, speak the truth, you know, and sometimes people don't like people that speak the truth. It's hard to accept the truth. So I do feel like we have somebody that has wasted time they invested in something. They probably invested in a relationship uh, that didn't grow. That didn't grow, you know. And it feels like it feels like they want to come back. They may want another chance. Anyhow. Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. Somebody needs to make a choice. Now, the Queen of, of Swords is typically, it can be somebody that is very independent. This person is, you know, very independent, very forthright, very strong, very, very wise, has the power, has the truth. So the Queen of Swords, that's a sort of truth and power in this person's hands. This person is very powerful speaks this is a public speaker or speaks very fluently speaks very well so we have a we have somebody here that um may have lost their focus or they may have that fear get in the way or intimidation the truth can be intimidating it can be intimidating so i feel like i feel like we have somebody with the page of wands that page of wands reverse we have somebody here that is immature They've been immature, they're mean-spirited, you know, or they see themselves as a victim. We have somebody here that did not open themselves up because of their own, maybe they were immature, you know. I feel like they're, they've been undecided and they're really, really thinking about what path they want to go down. They don't want to fight anymore because what comes before the Six of Wands, the Five of Wands, they don't want to play any more games. But there, there could be fear with the Page of Wands reversed. We, may have, we have somebody here that has been procrastinating. But, and I feel like they've been procrastinating because they'll be judged. The Queen of Swords is judgmental. She asks a lot of questions. Why? Why did you do that? This is somebody that, you know, uh, will put you on the spot. I do believe that there is some news that is arriving. It may be unexpected news, okay? And I got to show you what's on the bottom. I, I wasn't going to because, you know, this is not a, it's not a good omen, okay? This is all, something coming back around for sure. But, you know, it, it feels like, um, yeah, this is something coming back around to be dealt with. It needs to be dealt with. There's been a delay. Something did not work out. We have somebody here that spontaneously, quickly got themselves into something that... Uh, you know, made them feel secure. It fed their insecurities. You know, it did. It fed their own insecurities. They got, somebody got themselves into a relationship on unfertile ground where there was no fertility. You know, they did it spontaneously. And it's because they were angry and had some hard feelings. Somebody has missed an opportunity for a relationship with somebody that is very truthful, very authentic, very powerful, very uh, forthright, very real, okay? I feel like this person now has the power, has control, is very independent, maybe has let go. This person has let go, is now focusing on the future. So whoever this person is that has gained some sort of insight 
from being abandoned and not taken care of is now focusing on the future. This is this is it, being abandoned and re not taken care of from a relationship has went through a period of, you know, waiting and grieving and challenges. This person is now going to be receiving a victory because they, they're taking a new approach. They're letting go of an individual that was immature and did not focus on putting in any effort. Now, because they're letting go and they're focusing on the future, they're going to have some sort of victory. So there is a victory here because that's that's making progress. They're, I'm not sure if there's somebody here that is, is famous or something like that. Because the Six of Wands is somebody that is highly recognized, you know, has a lot of public recognition or highly respected. So we have somebody here that is highly respected that has probably be, probably been waiting for the moment. There could be a spur of the moment decision that is being made. Somebody may be making a spur of the moment decision to just, you know, let go of something that really hurt them. And when they make that decision, they, you know, run into something. Anyway, um, the Six of Wands is victory after you know, a battle or a competition. The competition is over. The battle is over. You win. Somebody's winning. It's a win. You win. You win. We have somebody here that hasn't been very content in a partnership and they've been thinking about leaving. But it's going to take a lot of strength, right? It is because that Six of Wands is a strong individual, you know, who leaves behind a battle. You know, I got to be strong. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is turning their back on something that didn't grow. Okay, they are turning their back on it. They are. There's no growth. There's no desire. There's no passion. There's no attraction for it. I think they got themselves involved prematurely. You know, they jumped. They jumped. Somebody jumped into a relationship. And it was unrealistic. It wasn't practical. And I feel like that relationship is over. I feel like that relationship is over. And now there's, there's uh, you know, avoiding. This person has been avoiding challenge with whoever it is that they need to be honest with. This is somebody that has refused to compromise and has been uh, repeating negative patterns over and over and over in their life. And they've had bad luck. And they've had bad luck because they've been repeating the negative patterns over and over and over again. Okay? Somebody has been repeating negative patterns, so they've had bad luck. And now, you know, this. and now I feel like they've been let go, or they're being let go. They're being let go by an individual who sees very clearly that this isn't secure, this isn't stable, it's not going anywhere. So whoever this person is that is being smart enough to make an informed decision based on the facts and focus on the future is going to be, I mean, this right here, the Six of Wands is a victory. It's a yes. It's it's uh, being recognized. This person's going to be recognized. This is also a hero card, the Six of Wands. There could be something that is an ar arriving. This is like a savior, right? This is a hero. This is somebody that is battle ready, that is a fighter. This is somebody that is... Um, not given to run when the going gets rough. This is somebody that will fight, that will fight for the win, will not give up. This is like, you think about the Six of Wands, this is a warrior, right, that fights a war and fights to the end, okay? This is like till death. Or not, you know, or or they come out on top. They win the battle. So this is this is like a win. You win. This is a winner. Okay. Somebody has been waiting. There's gonna be an arrival here. 
This is somebody that uh, is very noble, very strong, that will not give up when the going gets rough. So the three of wands is lack of foresight. It's unprepared. Somebody may be unprepared for an arrival. We may have this independent person that has their guard up. These are both have their extremely has their guard up. There, there is an arrival. It's time to open up. It's time to let go. Somebody needs to let go. It looks like it's a player. I think we have a player here. We definitely, there could be some bad news that is coming as well, and I hate to say that, but the Page of Wands can be bad news. And this could have to do with something financial. So there was somebody may be uh, receiving some news in regards to their financial stability that, you know, I don't know, somebody could be... Uh, Experience, being challenged, okay? They they may be receiving some uh, challenging bad news about their money. You know, maybe they got used. They thought the grass was greener on the side and they got used for their money. Anyhow, I do believe, I mean, the 10s are completions and I know a lot of people forget to mention that. Tens are completions. So, so we have the end of a relationship that does lead to emotional fulfillment in the end. But this is a dead end. Okay, it is a dead end. There's no growth. It's over. It's time to go someplace else. Somebody has been trying to water a dead horse. But it's over. It's a fact. And this is realizing the truth. It's seeing the truth. This is a new perspective. And this is opening up and letting go. Taking a new approach. Seeing very, very clearly that it's time to let go of this. This is like a bad egg. No offense. I, there is definitely some unwelcome news that is coming. It could be harsh. But it's the truth. It's the facts. We do have a setback here. Okay, we have some sort of setback here. Somebody wasted time investing in something that they shouldn't have. And it's because of their pride. It is because of their pride. Now, this is a horrendous loss. And this is past mistakes that have been repeated over and over and over again, coming back to haunt somebody. Something did not work out because we have an individual that has a chip on their shoulder and refuses to compromise has extreme pride and it feels like they've lost a relationship with somebody that was very truthful very authentic very smart I do feel like this is bad news, right? With the page of wands reversed, this is not good news. Somebody has wasted time. They have wasted time playing games because what comes before the six of wands, the five of wands, the five of wands of game. But the game is over.
this is this sudden there's going to be a this this is this could be a very sudden departure or a sudden arrival we may have we have somebody here that is all done playing games they may be very fearful but i feel like they're making a choice ooh to follow their heart this is very this is this is a flood of emotion. This is a new beginning in love, a new start in love. We have a new start in love here. We have somebody here that is headed towards, you know, love. This is this is emotional fulfillment. Deciding. Somebody's gonna be receiving an offer of love from somebody that is highly respectable. I mean, Six of Wands, this is somebody that is noble, that does the right thing and does not give up prematurely. This guy is in it for the win. So this is love. This is emotional fulfillment. And I do think that, that, that somebody is going to be receiving an offer that is, is going to put them in their feelings, okay? This is like a dream come true, okay? It is because aces are about dreams. It's about love. It's what you wish for. It's what you, it is. Everybody wants love. And somebody's been waiting for love or emotional fulfillment. With somebody that's going to respect them, and somebody that is respectable, somebody that won't give up, right? The Six of Wands, that's a, that's a hero, right? That is somebody who has fought and will fight. This person fights for love. And they're done playing games. So I do believe that there is going to be a decision that is made. And we have an individual that is probably going to be approached. And this person that is being approached has their guard up. Because they've probably invested in some bad seeds in the past. The seven of pentacles are seeds. You know, that's seeds that didn't grow. Somebody has wasted time investing in a relationship that was based off of an ego boost or pride or something like that because they were trying to prove something. They're very stubborn, egotistical it is. Anyhow, it's over. That's over. Now there's a new opportunity for uh, emotional fulfillment here. This is a yes. Don't let fear get in the way. Just do it. Good luck.